Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven. But we have this treasure in earth and vessels. We're just, we're just clay pots. You know what? A, a good vessel is empty. I mean, what is a vessel but just nothing surrounded by something to hold it in, right? That's the, that's the advantage of a vessel. If you're solid clay, you're not a vessel. If you want to be a vessel, you, you've got to be empty. And God puts the treasure inside. It's not you. You don't have to worry about, like, well, who am I? You're just, you're just the container into which God places this wonderful treasure. Now, the treasure he's speaking about here aren't jewels. The treasure is the light. And the light that shines out, just as with Gideon and his men, that the victory came when they were willing to be broken. And when they were broken, the light shone out. It's the treasure inside. That's what's important. And you know, every flaw and every weakness, every crack, is just another opportunity for the light to shine out. That's exactly it, isn't it? That it's in the area where we're honest with God, we're broken before God, and say, oh God, I don't know how you could ever use me. I fail all the time. God says, well, yeah, but I don't fail. My dad and I were at a conference years ago. The subject was the man God uses. We were sitting side by side in a hotel room, working away on our notes, and suddenly he stopped writing. And then I stopped writing. And I looked at him, and he looked at me. I said, are you thinking what I'm thinking? He said, what are you thinking? I said, I think I'm working on the wrong message. He said, yeah, I think so too. I said, what are you working on? He said, I'm working on the man God wants to use. Who's the man God wants to use? That's well, the Lord Jesus. <laughs> That's why he's committed everything into his hand, because he's the only man who can do it right. But who's the man God uses? Samson, Jephthah, David. But, and what shall we say about these men? You know, well, I'll tell you what we can say about them. God used them because they were broken. Because they came to the end of themselves just this once more. Lord, I'm a failure, says Samson. I don't deserve to be used, but please give me one more chance. And his brokenness was the means of victory, wasn't it? And so it is every time. God has called us not to be perfect. Someday we shall be. The just men made perfect. That's what we're, that's what we're going to be someday. But, you know, if you wait until you're perfect to evangelize, there won't be anybody to talk to. It's now in the days of our failure and our weakness and our struggles. That's when God wants to use us. He's the light. And he says, I'll shine out through your imperfections, through your weaknesses. I'll show myself strong. And others looking at you won't see you at all. They'll see the light that shines out from your heart. <laughs>